to another episode of the Joey H Podcast. Today, we got a very special guest with us today, defensive lineman at St. Thomas Aquinas, Mr. Brandon Joseph. How are you doing today? I'm good, my boy. Long time to see you. Yeah, it has been a long time. It has been a long time. So I'm just going to jump right into it. How did you get into football? Well, my, my big motiva- motivation for getting into football was my dad, you know. Um, starting, I remember, like, um, our first conversation, it was on something about whatever. And, like, he brought up, like, the position wide receiver. Like, like my first thought was, like, I'm thinking, like, like antennas. Like, I'm just, I'm just so, it's so foreign to me. Like, my own. I got, I got into football basically just for my dad and, like, um, my environment. Really. You know, my dad was a big uh, motivation in that. All right, all right. Um, why did you uh, choose St. Thomas Aquinas? I know they're a very storied program. You know, what made you want to choose them? To be honest, um, it was more of like my, like, I was following my dad's path, and I I, I trusted my dad 100%. So when we were leaving Dillard, he said, hey, I think it's going to, he, he always gave me the choice, but I was always going to follow him. He gave, he gave me the choice, like, like, I think I think St. Thomas is going to be the place for you. And I was like, okay, I'm going to trust you 100%. So we ended up doing going through the process and ended up transferring my first, um, my going into my freshman year. And got it. Good. Got it. Um, and, and now, like, you guys, now fast forward to this year. Um, you just finished your junior season. Three years in a row, you guys have, well, at least – you got as long as you've been there three years in a row, but since mm-hmm. 2020, um, this is their fifth, I believe, state championship yeah. in, in a row. Yeah. Actually, no, since 2019. But yeah. yeah, but what was it like, you know, winning your third state championship in a row, being a <laughs> part of that? Well, it's a real thing, um, honestly. It's uh, all going by so fast. It's kind of bittersweet because I knew. The more I win, the, the the less I'll be able to win in the future, I guess. Um, but yeah, it felt felt amazing being with my brothers and all all my coaches and uh seeing the supporters at um where we played. Um, and, and it was an amazing experience. Something I remember for forever. Okay, okay. Um, now, how has your experience been playing for Coach Harriet at STA? Because one thing. I know about him, just being around him, being around the program. You know, one thing I know is, like, he really puts his all into this. Like, he's on a mission, you know, to impact people, you know, graduate people and make sure that, you know, he sets his players on the right path. And, you know, he keeps everyone on that winning mentality. You know, what what has your experience been like playing for him? Uh, the stories are true. That's that's the goat right there. Um, to be honest, like whenever you you look at Roger Harris, you're gonna see something positive. Or you you can tell by the way he leads his life that he's gonna have a a very um very positive legacy. You know, just being like just being around him since my freshman year, and so he's left a, a positive impact on me as well. It makes me want to be a better man. You know, um, he he's more than a football coach. He's a he's a life coach. He like to say. No, I'm I'm happy. He's he's. I wanna I wanna say, he might be the best head coach, best coach, whatever in history, high school history at least. He's up there. He's up there for sure. He, he got he gotta be up. Because I'm wearing a I'm wearing Dallas Turner's Alabama yeah. jersey, and like, you know, he's gonna be like a first round pick next right. year in the draft, and like, I mean, Dallas Turner's just one of them. There's several. You know, people he's you know been able to have you know coach them into having great success um and you know that's he my, Dallas Turner is just one of them uh now what is your favorite subject in school favorite subject oh I probably have to go with like math to be honest I'm always pretty good at math so I like I like getting good grades so that's my favorite subject I got you. I got you. Now, um, what motivates you? Um, what motivates me? I guess the fact that if I if I if I don't do what I need to do, if 
if I don't get my job done, then at the end of the day, my family, they they, they need me. So if I don't get what I need to do done, then we're going to be in a situation because I'm in a point of my life where I know I'm the blueprint. Uh, it might not be like this for everybody else. I know my life, I'm the blueprint. So I got to handle my business on and off the field so I can put my family in a situation where we can enjoy enjoy our lives so that, and we can build, like, you know, you know, all that, all that good stuff. You know, I know I'm the good friend. I'm ready to work. For you. All right, yeah. Follow, follow the mission. You know. Uh, yeah. Now, um, what can we expect from you in the future? Because you know, I, I just mentioned the mission. You know, everyone I've learned in this life, everyone's on their own personal mission. Mm-hmm. You know, what can we expect from you in the future? You can expect me to work. I just got from the weird room. Let's see if I can. I'm right. I just popped out. But after this meeting, I'm going right to the weird room. You can expect me to work. You can expect me to bring that great energy that I always bring. You can expect me to be the leader. Um, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be my best to be. You know, I I expect to do great things. You know, and um, wherever life, wherever life leads me, you know, life is all about football. You know, as I'm learning. Um, whatever life leads me. All right, okay. now just I got time for one last question. Yeah, yeah. Now, I just gotta ask, you know, since you're a defensive lineman, like who do you model your game after? Mm, that's a tough question. Um, I probably model my game after. I mean, I feel like obvious choice is Aaron Donald. I mean, I don't care how cliche it is. It's, most dominant player ever. So I feel like I can't go wrong with that type of answer. The way the way he he puts strikes fear into the offense and plays hard is, is uncomparable. I'm gonna go with Aaron Donald. All right, all right. Well, Brandon Joseph, thank you so much for taking the time. I know it's you're busy nowadays. Um and uh I really appreciate you doing this man. Uh no problem. So, Yeah, have a great rest of your day, man.